80 some degrees. They're going to want to come to the Gardens Mall. That's because there's going to be AC and Dr. Oz. This week, thousands of people will head to the Gardens Mall to learn life saving lessons from local medical experts and this man right here, America's <laughs> doctor, Dr. Oz. We love having you here. Thanks for staying with us. Of course, we love talking to your daughter. Um, all right, this is the fifth year, believe it or not, for the Health and Safety Festival. What are some of the topics you want to talk about this year? You know, I've learned more and more that people really want a field guide for what mm -hmm. they need to do in life. They don't okay. just want to have more information because they can get that off the web. Mm -hmm. The purpose of coming on Saturday is you'll sit down and we're going to go through the regimen, the daily routine you need to follow every single day. It's those routines that allow you to live a long time. We're going to talk about the blue zones, which mm -hmm. are places where people just live forever. Mm -hmm. Four times more commonly live to age 100 than if they live in this country. And so the beauty of being in a blue zone is that you learn certain little tactics, like getting activity into your daily life, be having a plant slant where you're 80% vegetables mm -hmm. and not eating much of those as you go along. Uh, things like being in part of the right tribe. And we want you to use these. Now we have an app. Believe it or not, we got nominated for a bunch of Emmys this year. Awesome. And one of our denominations was for this app, which I've never thought of before. Mm -hmm. But uh, it has really been revolutionary in daytime television because it lets people download the tips that work for them. Oh, wow. it's, 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 go to, it's the Dr. Oz app. It's the only one out there. And enjoy it. It's free. And I'm going to talk about it at the event as well. We're also going to give away some gifts. We've got sleep Perfect. trackers, we've got blood pressure that we're going to be doing blood pressure screening anyway for the first time ever. And I'm passionate about that as well because it's the number one cause of aging and mm -hmm. people just don't know it. And if nothing else, you will leave them all knowing a little bit more about your blood pressure, about your own personal numbers, and you'll have been taught about how your regimen, your daily routine should work. And that was your idea. You said that's one thing we really need to get out there and they're going to be free. Yeah, at, at, from now on, I pr commit to do this to mm -hmm. you for the rest of my career. Every year, and this is an important opportunity because I, I, I do a little experiment in Palm Beach and we take it national. Mm. So you're, my, you're family to me because we live down here, right? We have a place. So uh, I do, I, we do them all. Uh, Carolyn Tappet, you know, your gym mm -hmm. has been wonderful supportive of this. Uh, we do blood pressure cuffs. If it works here, mm -hmm. we take it worldwide. I, next year, I have a surprise. I'll announce mm. it right now. I want to do a national CPR training program. Oh, that's a great idea. And because we can do, we can train in a couple minutes using all the great medical students in the area, folks who come to these events. That's a so great idea. Every year we want to iterate and make it better and better. But be there this year because the party starts. Well, and that's what I love. Every year, if you've been every year, each year is different. It's better. And it has to do with what was going on in the world right now. We're going to be talking about the Zika virus. We're going yeah. to talk about the opioid epidemic. There's so many topics that are really matter to the people who live right here in our home. In fact, there's, there's actually, if, if I can speak a tiny bit about, about healthcare in general. Uh -huh. So I posted something on Saturday, on Friday night, actually, after the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. uh, reform bill was, was not passed, withdrawn. And it got in, 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 in half a million folks. Wow commenting and you know, watching. Mm -hmm. So I want to share, if I can, some of the insights on Saturday, and I'll do that. But part of the passion I have is to realize, get people to realize it's not about Republicans and Democrats. It's a, this is an American problem. We have to do a better job getting people to comment to each other. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at my Facebook page now, that's where the video is. It's a cartoon that explains how we got in this mess. I want the thousand people who come on Saturday to be evangelists, to be able to go out and say, you know what, we deserve better value. It's not about how we pay for it, it's about what we're getting back for what mm -hmm. we're paying. That makes a difference. And as Americans, we can make this better. And what I love, again, is you're talking about things that matter right now. And we're going to cover all those topics. A fun, free event. Also, Amy Robach, GMA anchor and health advocate. You're a good friend yeah. with her. Why do you think she's going to be so important and instrumental in this year's event? When people have been on the other side of the health tracks, mm -hmm. and that's you're so beautiful. Uh, uh, love a, her. A woman, yeah. But she had breast cancer. And she mm -hmm. had it bad. And she required lots of treatment. And she knows a lot about what it's like to survive an illness mm -hmm. and when I find people whether they've been addicts or they have mental health issues or they survived cancer as Amy has they can share wisdom that that everyone can benefit from so she's going to speak elegantly because because I've had her on the program and beautifully mm -hmm. about a problem that she survived and those life lessons will apply to you whether you have breast cancer God forbid you won't, or any other health crisis in your life. Those are the messages that we want to hear on Saturday. How do you know, Amy? Just through her health issues? Well, I met her at GMA. Okay. And she's just a wonderful person. She's she the kind really of person is. you would gravitate towards. But she was kind enough to participate. And, and I had to say, you know, let me have Suzanne Summers on. Mm -hmm. you're, Last you're, year. So, you're, so I like having folks that can mix it up with. And I think she should be a great person to interview. I know she's great to interview, but I know that she'll also be very intimate and, and willing to take questions from the audience. Because that's probably the best part mm -hmm. of the whole day is you can ask all of us questions about things that are 
are concerning to you while you're there a bunch of anchors come visit with us it's, so it's it, fun it, it really is a fun day and it's free the best part and it's so fun because you are just as genuine in person as Thank you are you. and you get that up close and personal feel you know it's a stage and people can come around and and talk to you and it's just a really great opportunity so do not miss it the WPBF 25 health and safety festival this Saturday April 1st at the Gardens Mall you're gonna hear from Dr. Oz as well as local health professionals and the best part like we said it's free so come out Saturday from 10 until 4 Dr. Oz thank you we'll see you Saturday and we're gonna cut promos with the audience there you will be on television if you come to the event just so dress up nicely yes you don't want to miss it